So I actually started implementing a new system where I'm using a whiteboard with post-it notes to manage big rocks. So that's like stuff that's going on this week and next week. I'm using a calendar system on my iPad, which is right next to my computer. That is actually more of a conceptual, um, a conceptual, what's the way, project management. So it's, it's laying out my day, not task oriented, but just like how I want to spend sections of my time. So you'll see, I, I start out the day with planning. Uh, so I do a day plan where I actually just literally write out tasks that I'm going to do for the day. And then I work on the, the top priorities. So I execute. Then I actually planned in some other stuff like uh, every day for lunch I have a different personal project I'm working on. So today I'm going to do lunch and a new Facebook ad and then still work on the top priorities this afternoon. Tomorrow's lunch is, you know, brainstorm how I could do better at what I'm doing. Same kind of deal in the morning. And then every morning... Actually, I, I've tied in uh, just, it's a goal of mine, and if I don't, I'm trying to use a mouse and I can't, I gotta scroll. Uh, and if I don't execute it perfectly, that's okay, that's not the idea, it's just, I'd love to stick to this routine as close as possible. Sometimes things get in the way, but uh, every morning I want to wake up, get some coffee, do some, just focus on mindset for the day. It sounds kind of corny, but it's kind of a nice way to spend the morning. Uh, then I, I'm practicing speed reading right now, so I'm trying to do that every morning, just practice that a little bit. And then write copy in the morning, because that's the best use of my time for my business, so what can I work on to write copy for? So I do that first thing, because my mind's uh, in the morning, just most creative time of the day for me, personally. Then I plan using Wonderlist. So before I get to actually the task management side of things that I do daily, let me show you the, uh, the system I'm using for my weekly planning. So the reason I started doing this because it's really easy to get overwhelmed weekly with what you're doing. And I like, I've used all kinds of systems and you know, written systems, paper systems, computer systems, just realized like I need to make up my own system. So I'm reading this book Scrum too that I'm really into and I like the idea, I'm not totally in on the concept 100% yet and I know a lot of it's more about teamwork so I'm more of a solo operator so a lot of this is just for me but what I've been doing is I actually I have a couple different columns here so I have big stones so things big projects that are going on right now and really I've broken it down into my big product I'm working on amazing.com products personal development client work and other stuff so I've color coordinated it and broken it into those big rocks into smaller rocks and pieces that need to get done, right? So once a week, and I did this yesterday, I went through and just organized all this stuff. And then I added a few things the next week, but I'm doing one week at a time right now because I, I just really feel like if I spend too much time getting too far in the future, you just, you can't anticipate things and you might even slow yourself down and you say, well, I, you know, I can do that next week where really maybe I can get done this week. So anyways, what I do after I have that kind of mapped out is on this part of the whiteboard, I have today, tomorrow, and congrats you did it. So you'll see the things I need to work at today, things I've done today so far, and generally what I'll do is I'll just get up, hey, I did it, put it over here. And and the, the psychology behind this part of it is pretty simple. Like, I'm not a, I overwhelm myself, so I'll get like, I can't do all that, oh my gosh, um, I need to make this whole presentation, it's going to take me this many hours, blah, 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 can't do it. So I've kind of tricked myself a little bit here, and I'm, uh, you know, maybe remind myself is a bad thing, but now my goal is just to get this piece of paper from here to here. That's my new goal. That's not too tough. Whatever's on the paper doesn't matter, that's just, I need to do that stuff, but that's just the daily grind of things and my desk looks awesome right now. Um, so so that's, so we've got the conceptual calendar. So I don't have tasks in there, it's just the way I'd prefer to spend my day if I can. Um, I have, and I've even put in there like, you know, go for a walk, go outside, um, give someone a compliment, funny, funny stuff like that, just stuff I'd like to do. And then I have my strategic calendar. It's not really time-based, it's more just stuff that needs to get done, mini projects, uh, broken it down, anything that's chunks of a project. 
And then I also have my task list. So this is like the granule, everything that needs to get done and everything in my life. And I use Wonderlist uh, just because I've found that it's easier to manage all my different projects in here. And I kind of free flow. I don't really have a like method for this just yet. Um, but I also use it to capture ideas. So I'll just, you know, if I have ideas, I'll put them in here so that they're just not in my head. And that's a big thing. We've talked about that before in different videos. Um, but just getting things out, uh, I may make a little task list for just a specific um, project. So the product vault here would be a project. And then I can just write out the steps in it. Um, but like idea burner, like things that I want to do, like put that in there. And, and you know, freemium and blog post ideas, main increase items, you see like there's a ton in here, but it's really just to get it out of my head so I can focus on what I need to do now instead of worrying about where all this stuff is. So that's a big part of my task management. And then really today comes down to just these main tasks because if I know I get those done, then I know I'm moving forward on my big rocks. So anyhow, that's uh, just thought I'd do a little breakdown of that and you know walk through that process of of how I do it. So one, do the big conceptual stuff first. Two, I have a daily schedule of things the way I wish, you know, I hope my day goes if nothing gets interrupted and there's no big fires or anything. And then three, break down in a task manager what I'm actually doing. And then there's one more part of this that I just started doing and implementing is actually writing down things as I'm doing them. So it's really just all it is to me, it's not, I'm never going to really look at that again, but it's just keeping track in my mind of things that I'm, keep me aware that I'm actually working. So it's like a check-in process of I'm actually doing something as opposed to um, just, uh, uh, I don't know, we lose track of our days so easily. We get sucked into a million different things and we'll get on Facebook for an hour and, and not think about stuff so for me that process is a more of a mindset thing so if I'm writing down I did something then I visually see it I meant you know tactically feel it and it's like reminding myself in the process that I'm working and then I love this having the calendar up here on my iPad because this red line is where I'm at right now I, I get a good concept of where I'm going in the timeline and you know the rest of the day is pretty planned out now I have other calendars on here, uh, so calls and things like that, but that's not the calendar I leave up here. This is my ideal day, the day I want, and anything else that interferes with that better be important because this is the way I want to work. And it's my responsibility to execute that and do it the way I want to do it. So anyhow, uh, anyhow, any way or anyhow, I hope this helped kind of you know, I think it really helps to see other people's product management systems. Um, I hope this helps you. And it's funny, I actually went on YouTube and just searched like whiteboard post-it note project management. And that inspired me to do it this way. This isn't uh, a specific method that someone was using. It was more just seeing what people were doing and uh, adjusting it for my own needs. So my needs are, I need to see the big chunks, I need to color code them. You know, I'm very tactical or tactile person. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a little like down there if it was helpful and uh, subscribe. I'm trying to post a bunch of this good stuff for you guys. And sorry, it's not super edited or anything like that, but wanted to get it out to you so that you could see it as soon as possible. All right, have a great day.